side of the hallway is pretty much devoted to plant biotechnology. Mm -hmm. And actually, I want to start down here because it more relates to the process. Right. So that, um, and it's a small lab, but basically this is set up as a molecular biology laboratory mm -hmm. where we do the molecular cloning aspects, making the expression cassettes and the vectors that eventually go into uh, agrobacterium and eventually into plants. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty small, but very efficient. And it's actually good to have it small because uh, everything is closely contained. So it's all the typical equipment, gel electrophoresis units, mm -hmm. um, imaging capabilities, um, PCR machines, RT-PCR, and it's that kind of equipment that is necessary for this. Some of this, most of this came from uh, previously funded USDA grants as well as some industry money. So from there we make uh, the molecular constructs and these get eventually put into our vector which is agrobacterium tumefaciens mm -hmm. and single colonies will be selected and grown up to transform plants. And this is an electroporation unit where the cloned plasmids from over there in the, in the other lab be electroporated into agrobacterium and selected for their antibiotic resistance and then single colonies of those will be grown up and used to uh, transfer the genes into plant cells. We have these labs that are primarily dedicated tissue culture labs that are devoted to individual projects. Uh, he's a research associate, Chip Longo, and his work here he knows all about the system inside and out. They all get uh, interns, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, they're mainly biology students, genetic students who can get credit and uh, valuable lab experience. And this is really great because uh, we have a very high uh, efficacy rate of placing students, mm. either in industry or graduate school. If you go through this lab and acquire all these different techniques, you're a very marketable person. So we can do the regeneration phase of right. rooms like this and it's perfectly adequate. This is our microscope room. So that was purchased off of the um, convention of We do soil experiments in here. Um, because we're working on gene confinement, we can't go out into the, uh, the environment yet. My experience here is, is that it's, it's not just coming from a congressman, that it's involved with the granting agency to a very deep level. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't know what other researchers' experience is with this, but ours has been that it's extensive, deep, and relentless, mm -hmm. you know, um, almost to a fault, where, you know, our reporting is so intense you know, that we have to hit our milestones, our go-no-go -go decisions, we have to plan the research extensively, mm -hmm. and, um, or, you know, you're either not going to get the money or you're not going to get renewed. And I think that's been abundantly <laughs> clear to all of us, you know, and uh, so it's a lot of pressure.